<laughs> Sorry, my quick cooker made this weird sound. Okay, so I posted about the pumpkin in the quick cooker yesterday. Um, I had another one, so I threw it in here. And um, I wanted to show it to you. I'm not positive how I'm going to get this one out. I didn't put it on or in anything, and this one's pretty cooked. So this was a pump, like a pumpkin pie pumpkin. I'm not 100% positive what I'm going to make with it. I did find a recipe for some pumpkin donuts with a hot chocolate glaze. I think Travis would have a fit if I make more donuts, um, but I don't know. So um, it just finished. I did steam. I did a cup and a half of water. I did stab the pumpkin a few times. You don't want your pumpkin to blow up on you. Um, I stabbed it a few times. I threw it in here um, for 13 minutes on steam. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to take my lid off. Hold on. Look up, buddy. It's hot. All right. So the leg of my tripod just came off too, so I have to be careful how I move you. This is it in the uh, quick cooker. So before I grab it and burn myself, again, like I said, I'm not positive how I'm going to get it out of here. But the skin just falls off, like literally. That's the skin of the pumpkin just coming right off. So um, I'm going to attempt, Have I uh, to let's see, the skin? attempt to get it out of this thing and also not drop you guys in the process because of my tripod being broken. I don't know what happened. So here we go. Here's, you know what I should have done? Didn't even think about it. I should have put it in my strainer so then I could pull it out with the strainer, but I didn't do that today. So, um, let's see. It looks like it? cake inside. It looks like cake? Well, that's what you used to make, like pie. Sorry, I'm trying to find something. Henry, get out. I don't think this is going to work. You should just get off all the It's skin. really soft. Look at it. Whoop! I <laughs> skinned my pumpkin. <laughs> so there's all the skin for the pumpkin. Um, yeah, it's like, see? Can you see the pumpkin over here in the quick cooker? There's the pumpkin. Pretty much skinned. You want to see what the pumpkin looks like? It's all right. super stupid, yucky. Ugh. Yeah. All right. Was my mistake not putting the pumpkin in something? I just set it in here. Go play with your sis. I'm going to get some spoons and see if I can get them out. With... Um, all right. One. Two. Let's try this. Let's try these guys and see if we can get it out. Oh, we got him! Look at that. I don't do anything. Carrie, you, if you like pumpkin, you can do this with your when you get your quick cooker here soon. So all of the skin fell off. Here's all the skin to the pumpkin. Still sitting in here. Hanging out. I don't know why I'm taking it all out. That doesn't make any sense. Put it all back. Maybe. Just leave it in there. All right, so... How seriously easy is that? Seriously, it's just... See, look at you, Alicia. Girl, you know what you're talking about. You gotta, you gotta, uh... Let's sign up with me, girl. Seriously, I think you'd be great at this. Um, so yeah, look, I don't even have to hardly do anything. There's like one piece of skin left. And that's what I ended up using, Alicia. Both of them, my blue one and my... My blue one and my orange one. Um, I'm going to cut it in half. Whew. It's a bit warm. And then, yep, all that's left is this little tiny bit. And I'm going to use, hmm, a fork maybe and then my scoop loop. Um, mine, you could have, my pumpkin was too tall for the trivet. So, like, when I put the trivet in here, and then put the pumpkin on it. It stuck up too high. It didn't stick up this high, of course. But it was too high to put the lid on and then close it up. So um, I would think you could use, which I should have used, and I don't know why I didn't, um, the stainless steel, the small stainless steel mesh colander would have been perfect. It would have um, 
it would have just, uh, and then I could have just grabbed that and pulled it out. And that, that's what I should have done. But I didn't. Lesson learned, you know. Next I'll have to try, somebody was asking, Tiffany was asking about spaghetti squash. So I've got to, i got to do that next. But it's really hot. I probably should have let it cool before I did all this. But I'm just using the scoop loop and scraping. So like if this was spaghetti squash, you could use this to make your um, spaghetti, truthfully. Um, but uh, I was reading and I'm pretty positive you can just throw a whole spaghetti squash in here and uh, cook it. I, I, I know somebody had said that they cut theirs up, but uh, I think you just got to stab your, as long as the spaghetti squash, squash isn't too humongous, it'll fit in here. And you just stab it a few times so it doesn't blow up, because who wants anything to blow up? And um, there you go, you cook it. I am gonna have to like throw this in my blender to like pureed it all down but and next time I might do 15 I guess it's all dependent upon the size of your pumpkin this pumpkin was a little bit bigger so but yeah there done oops again I don't know what I'm gonna do with it if anybody has ideas look at see it that's it it's one half of the pumpkin um if anybody has any ideas as to what I should eat with this or make with this let me know I'm not making pie don't recommend sweets. <laughs> Anything savory, I should make with it. Savory. Um, Cause yeah, we have had so many sweets lately. It's 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 just sad. No sweets right now. Sweets are out of the house. Let's see. I'm gonna try and grab my center. Whew. Seriously, this guy's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Savory ideas and go. No, Jason, nothing sweet. No pumpkin pie. Nothing sweet. Give me savory ideas. Go. Muffins. No. <laughs> nothing sweet. Seriously, I have like shortbread cookies in the cabinet. I have, I have too much sweets. Too much sweets. I need savory. I mean, I guess I could make like a mash with it, right? I don't know. I don't know if I like pumpkin mash. I don't know. I don't know, people. Pumpkin soup. Huh. I've never had pumpkin soup. Alicia, you know how hot it is outside, right? It's like 80 degrees out. <laughs> I don't know if I want soup. I don't know. Okay, there, look at that, done. I have never, I've only once cooked a pumpkin for pie. And um, once, and it took a few hours. That took 13 minutes, plus this time here to, to whatever that took to clean it up. That's it, that's all it took. All my junk is in here, which I'll throw it away in a bit. And that's it. And like I said, I think I'll either throw this in, I'll probably throw it in my blender because I can put all of it in there at once. Um, but if you only needed a little bit, you could just use the manual food processor, throw it in there. Um, yeah, but there it all is. Look at, whoop. I wonder if it'll mash up with my, uh, tomorrow it'll be 60. I don't know. I believe it when I see it. I don't believe any of that ever. Hash, how do I make pumpkin hash, Jason? Inform me and I will totally make hash. Um, it smells really good. I wish it was a little, I wish I had left it in a little bit longer. It's a little, it needs to be cooked, steamed a little teeny bit longer. I did 13 next time. I'm like, if I was making a pie, I would do, um, I don't know, 15 ish minutes. Um, I know Kristen, she needs to join our team. Doesn't she? Alicia is like brilliant. Shepherd's pie, but pumpkin instead of mashed potatoes. Hmm, that's not a bad idea, Sherry. Sherry also needs to join my team as well, and she knows that. But she's traveling all the time and visiting those babies of hers, those grandbabies. All right, so there we go. Look at that. Look at that. All right, you guys, don't forget. I don't know what I'm going to make with it yet. Something. Don't forget, head over to... Um, Pamper Chef uh, with Katie 
and I have a giveaway going on. I'm doing the drawing next Tuesday. It's a giveaway for the new uh, cheese, I always want to call it something else, cheese board set. All you got to do is answer the question and uh, you're in the drawing. If you add a friend, oh, we're finally getting rain from this uh, Hurricane um, Michael. So, haven't had any tornadoes today, thank goodness, but we're finally getting rain and a little bit of wind from it. Um, hopefully it passes quick tonight and we don't have any damage from it. Uh, but yeah, head over to my page, um, find the giveaway, <laughs> scroll down a little bit, find the giveaway, answer the question, which is what are you gonna be for Halloween? What are your kids gonna be for Halloween? Or figure out what this thing says you should be for Halloween. Put your answer, um, one entry. Tag a friend, another entry. Share it, another. You get the point, you get the picture. On Tuesday, I'm gonna do a drawing. Um, and whoever wins, I'm going to send the cheese board to them. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, easy as that. Trying to think of anything else. Hmm. Hmm. I would love for you guys to join my team if anybody's interested in, in selling Pamper Chef. Um, we have a great team right now. I love all the, all the people on my team. They're all killing it. Kristen is one of my newest gals, and she's killing it. Um, but men, I'm... I'm I'm not leaving out the men's at all because men are amazing. Jason's giving me some amazing ideas. Brussels sprouts, pumpkin, and apple hash. Oh my goodness, that sounds like it's right up my alley because I love Brussels sprouts. I'm not sold on the pumpkin and I love apple. Okay, I might have to try that. Um, yeah, um, so you want to join my team? Let's talk. Go enter my giveaway. I'm trying to rattle off everything in my brain. If you want a quick cooker, um, I currently have a fundraiser going on for Help With Cancer. Um, we have new metal straws coming out here on the 15th. So you can place an order on the 15th for the metal straws and anything else you want. And I'm going to have a 60% off of the quick cooker, one of the rock rocks, or this 12 inch stainless steel pan. So anybody who orders, as long as the party, as long as that fundraiser gets to at least 200, anybody who ordered, is gonna go in a drawing and if they want that 60% off item, that's totally theirs. So you could get your own quick cooker um, for $96. And all you have to do is place an order and as soon as the party hits 200, um, and the party closes next Saturday, the fundraiser, excuse me, and I'll put all those names in a drawing for those who ordered and the person who wins gets the quick cooker or quick cooker, one of our uh, slow cooker, Rock Rock slow cookers or the 12 inch stainless steel pan at 60% off. And the money goes to a great cause. It goes to um, uh, the American Cancer Society. I kept saying it wrong earlier, but it's breast cancer, breast, breast cancer awareness, but the money goes to the Amer American Cancer Society. Um, and I literally made my own homemade pumpkin puree in under 20 minutes today. So, and I've got a whole bunch of pressure cooker books to pick up at the, at the library. So I'm gonna be trying out some new recipes as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all I need to talk about. I can't think of anything else. Um, so yeah, go to my Pamper Chef with Katie page, like it, comment, add your friends, and maybe you can win that. Um, buy, go buy something off the fundraiser. You can wait till the 15th for the metal straws, get in the drawing for possibly getting the quick cooker at 60% off. Um, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. Um, so I'm going to go away and I don't know, look at that recipe Jason posted because it really does sound really good, except I don't have Brussels sprouts in the house. Um, and figure this, this out. All right, any questions? You know how to find me. Shoot me a message. All right, guys, later. Bye. Maybe, maybe goodbye. And goodbye.